Hey guys, Galusia here, and today I'm going to bring you another world record attempt in Zombies. So in the last episode of Zombies that I did, uh, what the feat that I accomplished was that I had seen a video get posted of someone getting the world record for the fastest uh, pack-a-punch used, which was uh, in Wave 3. And I said, without even watching his video, because I didn't want to know how he went about doing it, I said, well, I could, I could probably do that. It doesn't even really seem like it would be that hard. Because on this map, you don't have to turn on the power and stuff like that. Everything's just ready to go. So, indeed, that is what I did. And I matched his record, you know, perceivably, because I didn't even watch the video. But I did use a Pack-A-Punch in Wave 3. So, mission accomplished. So, I said, well, I wonder what other kind of... Because I really that's not really a world record, is it? It's just like the Guinness Book of World Records where they just come up with arbitrary, I'm the first guy to staple uh, myself a thousand times. Like, that's a world record. Like, no, it's not. You just did something stupid. Uh, I'm not saying getting the Pack-A-Punch in Wave 3 is stupid. I actually think, you know, that's kind of cool. But in the video that I did, I basically showed uh, very simply how easy it would be to get that. I got it my first try, so it's not even really like it's that big of a deal. It's not a rule. I don't really consider it much of a world record if you can do it like no problem you know what i mean it should be a, it should be something that's difficult okay so what i'm gonna what i'm setting out right now is i want to be the uh i want to get the world record for the fastest double pack a punch and flip the pack of punches can't be uh the pistol which is what i did for getting it in wave three it, you cannot pack a punch the pistol, and you can't pack a punch a wall weapon. It has to be a mystery box weapon. And this poses uh, some interesting dilemmas. Is that the pack a punch machine? You know, it costs 950 bucks. And what happens when you get a crappy weapon that you don't actually want to pack a punch because it's a piece of crap? What happens when you get monkeys? For that matter, you know what I mean. What happens when you get monkeys? Obviously, you can't pack a punch monkeys. You just spent 950 points. You got monkeys. Now, what do you do? So, uh, it definitely poses some problems. I'm hoping that both the weapons I get are actually guns. And no matter what they are, basically, I'm going to have to pack a punch them. It's monkeys. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so, right off the bat, I have handicapped myself for this world record. I should just start over, but I'm a trooper. So, I'm going to go for it. And the second one I got is a ray gun. Obviously, we can make that work to a certain degree. Once again... I wouldn't want a ray gun, though, for this challenge, because I'm going to kill everything one shot, and I'm only going to get 50 points per thing. Oh, I want that. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, so I'm not going to max out on the amount of points I could get, whereas if I got, like, an automatic weapon, I would be able to get more. So I'm going to have to make the most of my pistol now with this max ammo. So that's that's the challenge. you got to get two mystery weapons and pack a punch the both of them. Also... You know, what do you do about perks and stuff? I don't want to fail the challenge because I'm not spending any money on perks. But if you really want to maximize this, you need to not spend any money on doors, on perks, nothing. If I want to get jugs, I got to spend 750 to open that door and then another 2500 on jugs. So that's a lot of tamales. Uh, and I don't feel like spending all those tamales. So probably what I'm going to end up having to do is um oh, double points beautiful probably what i'm gonna have to end up doing is not getting jugs not opening up any doors and just trying to make a go at it without jugs out here in the open and i'll tell you what that's not gonna be easy especially with zombies exploding in my face uh that is obviously gonna have a lot of challenges to it and um make it hard just to even survive so i like this it's a zombie challenge but it's also... Shoot, is he the last one? I think he is. Okay. But yeah, so it's a zombie challenge just in the sense of like what we're doing. Because then I'll probably, after I set the record, I'll just keep going for fun. Uh, just to see how far I could get. But we're also... Oh, see, that's what I wanted the first time around. Thank Christmas. Okay. So we have our two weapons. And these are two weapons that I actually would love to pack a punch. Uh, that's, that's, these are winning scenarios here. But, uh, once again, now I have a insta-kill. I probably shouldn't even have picked that up, because it's just going to, uh, instantly kill everything, and I'm not going to get a lot of points for it. But, it's alright. It helps us to conserve on ammo, I guess, because we don't want to have to buy another, it's bad enough we already got monkeys, right? Come on. 
little bit more accurate would be nice. Yeah, staying on street level long enough to pack a punch two, uh, two different guns is definitely going to be a challenge in and of itself. A challenge that I thankfully and willingly accept. I, I like this idea. This, this is a lot of fun. Okay, barricades, barricades. Always make use of the barricades. We're going to get the most out of these, uh, out of every point that we can get. I'm also, I'm probably not going to upgrade right away, but probably the first thing I'll go ahead and upgrade will be the RPD, uh, if for nothing else, just to, just to refill it in ammo. And that way, as we get into the later rounds, like, I can actually get... I would like to get quick kills with something that doesn't do splash damage. The ray gun is dangerous. It does splash damage, and since I'm staying on street level, I anticipate a lot of zombies being in my face, and I don't have jugs, so the exploding zombies are going to quickly become an issue. Um, I can really only use the ray gun at more of a distance. Like, where she is right now, that's good ray gun distance, but I'm honestly just going for points right now, so I'm just going to use the RPD nonstop. I probably won't even look at the ray gun until wave eight unless i'm stuck reloading like way too long like i am right now see i like that corner because then i have a fallback to the uh stairs here oh there's a double point ow hopefully that's a double nuke and i get 800 points for it yes all right so we can upgrade one weapon i'm gonna wait just a little bit longer Okay, wave six, and we have enough to upgrade one weapon. Okay, before the swarm shows up, I'm going to go ahead and reload right away. Full capacity of ammo. Evaluate the situation. We're good for another reload. It's important to be able to reload whenever you can. I was already almost down to like half ammo. Oh, max ammo. Okay. I got that. I'm going to have to switch to the ray gun more than likely here. And just... Oh. I'll just keep shooting down the stairs. That way the fiery, explodey zombies won't have the opportunity to blow up in my face. It's all good. I'm definitely going to... Yeah, there's a hammer there too. Okay, there's only one zombie left. I'm going to just avoid him for the time being. Even though I just got a max ammo, uh, I'm going to upgrade the RPD now. That way, when I have enough to upgrade the ray gun, I can do it right away. I don't have to worry about upgrading two weapons. And then, yeah, so hopefully wave seven will be when I get that done. If I don't die, it looks like we're in business for this. I... Bet you it's not, the monkeys aren't going to slow me down. The monkeys cost 950 points, uh, which means I wouldn't have enough for it anyway. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to be able to get, uh, we're going to get it done this round. So it looks like the monkeys didn't slow me down. So if anything, they might have helped me out, you know, in case I decide I need to use them for some reason. There's a nuke. We don't want to get that. Actually, I have enough points now if I get the nuke. Let's throw a monkey. Shoot! This must be in the lava or something. Please go to the monkey this time. Thank you. Okay, let's get the nuke. Switch to the ray gun as everything around me slowly dies. No, 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 no! I didn't want it to finish around! Yeah! That's wave seven. I don't care what you say. I'll slow down the footage if I have to. That was in my hands when it before it said wave eight. Wave eight was not done yet. And I will take that to the grave. So there you go. Uh, barely, barely, but that's how records usually go, right? So barely, wave seven, and uh, almost wave eight, but wave seven... I managed to get a uh, double 
Pack-a-Punch accomplished with uh, both of the Pack-a-Punches being Mystery Box items. Not just off-the-wall items, not just the pistols. We got it done. And I actually think that's going to be hard to... I, I don't think it'll be hard to match, necessarily. No different than when I... Oh, goodness! Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> no different than when I matched the other person's record for round three. I didn't find that to be too difficult. But beating it, I think, would be impossible. I think it would be impossible to pack a punch something in wave two, no matter how lucky you got with power-ups. And it's going to be pretty hard to beat that. I think it's doable, depending on what items you get, but not a guarantee. So, uh, comment below. Let me know what you think about these uh, record tries. And then, if you somehow manage to beat that record... Post it on uh, YouTube and send it as a video response to this and I will post it. And humbly accept the fact that you managed to beat me. If you can get two mystery weapons, pack a punch, in wave 6, you win. If you're still in wave 7, then bleh. So thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate the support as always and I will see you next time.